Hi guys, it's Miss Keen. I'm going to work through some of these calculations that you're um, going to be included in your science project. As you see, I have two two slides up here um, that are from the handout that you received from Mrs. Guile. The first one says slide three, all relative to Earth, and the second one is the planetary fact sheet. And you have all chosen a a planet to work on. I am going to do all my calculations based on the moon since nobody in class has, is working on their on the moon. Okay. And let's see, so we're going to go through volume, mass, density, gravity, and temperature. I'm actually going to come back to volume last. It, it is the one that requires the most calculations, so I'm going to do that one last. So let's take a look at mass first. Okay. So I come over to my list and I see that mass is right here. And I am going to make my comparison between Earth and the Moon. You're going to make your comparison between whatever planet you're working on and Earth. Okay. Now the mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th power. Okay. And although this is not in proper scientific notation, the moon is 0 0.073 times 10 to the 24th power. The way I figure out all relative to Earth, the, so this, the mass of the moon relative to Earth. So what I want to do as a calculation is take the mass of the moon, so that's 0 0.073, and I I want to divide it by the mass of the Earth, 5.97. Okay. Now think about that. Mass of the moon compared to the mass of Earth. Is the mass of the moon going to be bigger or smaller than the mass of Earth? It's, it's smaller. It's considerably smaller. So let's divide that and see what happens. Okay. And you can see on the screen with my calculator uh, what the answer comes out to. I am going to round that to the nearest hundredth place. So I'm going to come out with 0 0.01. Okay. And that, that means that my, the moon is 0 0.01 times as much as the Earth. Or if I want to change this to a percentage, move the decimal two places, the size or the mass of the moon is 1% of the Earth. Okay, so let's move on to density and check that out. Okay, so here's my two calculations for density. And guess what? I do the same thing. I set up the same equation. I put the density of my of the moon and I divide it by the density of Earth. Okay. Now I'll get my calculator out and do that. Okay. And again, I'll, I'll round to a hundredths place. So I'm going to do 0 0.61. Okay. So the density of the moon is 0.61 times the density of Earth. Or if I change this to a percent, it's 61%. All right, let's check out gravity. All right, here's gravity. Ah, there's my gravity amounts. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to do, guess what? You see a pattern here. 1.6 divided by 9.8. Okay. 
Okay, and that is going to come out to 0 0.16. Or what percentage? 16%. Okay, and the last one, temperature. All right, the mean temperature on Earth is in Celsius, it is 15 degrees, and on the moon, it's negative. 20 degrees. So integer rules are going to apply. Twenty. Don't forget your negative. I don't have a fancy calculator on the computer. There we go. Divided by 15. Negative 1.3333, which is negative 1.33. Okay, now that doesn't mean that um, negative 1.33 degrees Celsius, it means that the temperature is. negative 1.33 times lower than the Earth's temperature. So when we change that to a percentage, it's approximately negative 13% lower than on the moon. The temperature on the moon is negative 13% lower than the temperature on Earth. Okay, so as you can see, those are my calculations for mass, density, gravity, and temperature. And like I said, I did my calculations based on the moon. You are going to do your calculations based on the other planets that you've chosen. Okay. Um, you might want to pause this video so you can uh, do your calculations and, and follow my examples. Now the next one's volume. Okay, now volume. If you look down here on the list, there is no category that says volume. So I'm going to come up here and volume of a sphere. We're going to use the formula for volume of, of a sphere. Anyone know the volume of a sphere? It's V equals 4 over 3. We're looking th four and three, but that's what it is. Pi radius to the third power. Okay. Now, you look down the list here. Again, I said there is no volume category. And I know four over three, and I know pi, what pi is, radius. I also don't have a radius category in my list here. But I do have something that I can convert to radius, and that is right here, diameter. Okay. So I'm going to look at the diameter of Earth and the diameter of the moon right here. Okay. I'm going to actually, this one requires a little bit of calculation, so I am going to erase the mass, density, gravity, and temperature on my screen. Hopefully. Ay, ay, ay. There it goes. All right. All right. So let's do this calculation. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to start with the moon. This is the moon, and this is going to be Earth over here. Okay. I have to find the volume for each of these. So, I need to do my calculation 4 over 3 pi radius. Now to find the radius from the diameter, what do I have to do? I have to take the radius, I mean the diameter, 3, 4, 7, 5, and divide it by 2. 
we get the radius. So my radius of the moon is 1737.5. And I'm going to make sure that I raise that to the third power. Um, I have already done this calculation because this calculator doesn't have that on there. So I am going to do that. Actually, it doesn't have to the third power. So instead, I can just do times 1737.5. And then multiply it by itself again, 1737.5. Okay. Then I want to multiply it by pi. And I want to multiply it by 4 thirds. 4 thirds, you can use your calculator and do 4 divided by 3 to get 4 thirds, or it is 1.33333. Okay. All right. So this is the answer I get. Okay. It's it's a really long answer it looks like here. I have digits uh 2 2196052981557. I actually when I looked at this I changed it to scientific notation, but we can we can use this figure right here too. I'm going to copy that. Paste it in there. There it goes. There it goes. All right. So that calculation comes out like that. Now I'm going to do my calculation. Oh, let me back up a little. So we know that when we're doing volume, it is units to the third power. So this is kilometers to the third power. Let me just write that. So we are. Okay, now let me do my earth calculation next to it. So that is going to be 4 thirds times pi times the radius of earth. Okay, so the diameter of earth is right here. It is in this, this spot right here. So I'm going to take that diameter and divide it by 2. 1, 2, 7, Five six divided by two gives me six three seven eight. Alrighty. So I'm going to continue six three seven eight. Now you guys will have calculators, so you can do your own calculations on your planets. So let me get my calculation here. Six three seven eight times six three seven eight okay times pi times and four over three so all i'm doing here is multiplying all this together four over three times pi times this number to the third power Okay, and there is my lovely answer. Move it down here, and put my ending. All right, now just like the other calculations for mass, density, gravity, and temperature, now that we have the volume, of the moon in the volume of Earth, we're going to take both of those numbers and divide them. Okay, I've actually already done this one. Uh, it comes out to uh, 0.2 times 0 0.02. I'm just rounding it off. So the volume of the moon is 0 0.02 times the size or the volume of Earth, or it's 2%.
Okay. All right. So those are all the calculations you needed for this sheet. Uh, make sure you ask any questions if you have any. And good luck. Talk to you soon.